Welcome to this series of tutorials on MuseScore. Throughout this series of videos, we will be using MuseScore to orchestrate Sonata No. 16 by Bender for various different instruments. In this video, we will learn how to start a new score. Let's start by opening up MuseScore. MuseScore starts up with a welcome screen. And I'll start with creating a new score. Let's just move this to the side so we can see it. All right, and we can fill in our details immediately. So this is Sonatina number 16 in G minor, they tell us. The composer is George Anton Bender. And in here, I'm just going to say that I've orchestrated, well, I will orchestrate this piece. And we don't need copyright. Right, next. Now we start to choose what ensemble we want to be writing for. So you could maybe, um, maybe you're writing for a pre-made ensemble, like an orchestra or a band or anything like that. Uh, you can find those templates or presets here. I know that I'm not working from a specific template, so I'm going to choose my instruments and go next. And here's the point where I can choose my instruments uh, and add them in here. So uh, I'll start with what we've got here. It's going to make things easier later. So I want a piano. Well, I can go to keyboards and piano and add to score. And we can see that piano will be added with two staves, two staves, one in treble clef, one in bass clef, and they're both a standard type. There are other types, but we want the standard type. Um, there are all kinds of options here, which, are, which we're not going to look into now, but uh, there's some really, really useful options here. If I say I wanted to add more instruments, I could go and search for them instead of looking through the families. So let's try search for a trombone. There we go. It brings it up there and I can double click to add that into my score. Trombone only has one staff and that is a bass clef staff. Really useful to, to see this information. I do just want to start with the piano for now. So I'm going to delete this trombone, just click on it and remove from score. And there we go, we're back with just the piano. Let's move on. Choosing our key signature, well, we see here that we've got two flats. We also know that it's in G minor. We can even see it from the music though. We can see a G minor arpeggio there, G, B flat and D. And we can also see our raised sixth and seventh from the melodic minor. So this is G minor two flats. We'll just choose our two flats next. Time signature, easy enough. This is two, four. Pickup measure or upbeat bar, very important feature to get right at the beginning. There we have a, a quaver upbeat. So yes, we do want a pickup beat, pickup bar, and and quaver is also called an eighth note. The number of measures or bars is not too crucial now. We can always add more later. I'll just leave it at 32. And our tempo, allegro, crotchet equals 100. So we'll add that crotchet equals 100. And finish. And here's our score. We can already move it around and see what we're looking at just by clicking and dragging. It's got all those details in. Now, most of the details, we don't need to be too worried about getting them absolutely perfect. Pretty much anything in this we can edit. Uh, maybe I made a typo up here. I can just double click on the text and I can add in whatever I need to in there. Um, we can change the t time signature, the key signature with all of these um, things in the palette over here. We have the inspector so that we can see details about whatever we are s currently selecting. Um, and so this is how MuseScore starts. And this is where we will start off. Now we don't want to go through that again if something crashes. So let's save this before we go any further. I could use Control S or I'll use the save button over here. I'll go put this on my desktop. Sonatina number 16, sure and save. Don't leave saving to the last second. And also now that it's saved, I want to make sure that I have always got a backup of this. Uh, so maybe I'm done for the, today and I'm going home now. I want to save this onto my flash drive. So let's open up Windows Explorer. And here it is, Sonatina number 16. I'll put it on my flash drive in my folder called temp and copy that across. 
Now I know that if my computer crashes and I lose this, I've got it on my flash drive. And if my flash drive gets stolen, I've still got it on the computer. It's always a good idea to back up your projects. Uh, I've just seen too many people who have their project in one place and they've been working on it for ages and they lose it and they have to start again. So don't be that person. All right, that's it for this lesson. Next time we'll start putting music into our score.